Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Geordie Space Program by night. We're going to do a little Kerbal short video here. We are both here. I am Ewok. I'm Gonzo. Uh, we're going to try building a craft. As you may know if you've been following the series, we've got a couple of guys stuck in orbit. Uh, we were going to try and... That's taking a long time to go to the next morning, isn't it? It really is. Uh, we were going to try and build a, a craft with a grabber to go and bring our guys back who are stuck, but we can't really risk spending 450000 upgrading the science centre to unlock the parts we need. So we've decided to do it on the cheap. Yep. Uh, we're going to use, as a base, our two-man explorer. Um, but we just wanted to improve it because I don't know if you remember we had some we had some issues with this. Some craft. explosive issues. Some explosive issues involving these solid fuel boosters. So what I'm gonna try and do is just mount them further out and then do a little test flight, and that'll be the purpose of this video. And if it works, we'll be using this craft to do the actual rescue mission in the full video that we'll be showing later this week. So I mean it's a nice simple adjustment. That's all we need to do, really. Fingers crossed that works. They're still positioned quite nicely. Now, really, we want to drop them down a bit. Yep. And get them nice and level. How do I do that again? Offset. Oh, offset. So, we'll just drop those down a little bit so they're fairly centralised. That yeah, looks yeah, pretty centralised for you. Yeah, good. Um, we're also going to need a probe body on this to rescue the guys. We are. Um, because we need two crew bays open. So what we might do, oh, excuse me, we'll ditch this top one, Cool. And get another inline cockpit, pull that up at the top, same strategy, we'll, oh, I just meant to grab the parachutes there, we'll have the two layers of parachutes for safekeeping here. We could also use um, a couple of solar panels on the, uh, the top half as well. <laughs> We could use a couple of solar panels Just on the top Just on the off half. chance, makes sense. Because we noticed last time that we didn't have them. So maybe, yeah. Uh, so, I'm going to stick uh, just four around. Should do the job. One of them's obscured. That should be okay though, I think. It should be okay. You know what? We don't actually need the science equipment for this. Should we ditch the science equipment? Yeah, I mean, we're looking to bring science back from the guys that are stranded, but we don't need science equipment for this, and it's all just dead weight, really. So uh, we will need... Yeah, we definitely need that. Some of later. We'll need batteries as well. So maybe having the... Um, having the service bay, but just with the batteries in, we could probably still use that, to be honest. That's a good point. It also gives us something to land on. Yep. Pop the service bay back on, get the ablator on. We'll check our staging before we launch to make sure that this hasn't uh, spoiled anything. Yep. So, so batteries are in utility. A couple of sets of them. Pop a couple of them in. Lovely. Protected by the utility bay. And need a probe core on this. We do need a probe core. Let's get those solar panels back on. Actually, if we pop them on like that, get those ones off. Yeah, that makes sense. I like that. A little pro body on the top. Well, now that's not very aerodynamic. What we can do, though, what we can do is get some fairings on there. Are they aerodynamic or structural? No, Protective that's, that's shell. What that's what we need. Want. What you would do is um, you want to position these underneath that probe core at the top. Just make a little bulbous head. So can you not drag no, down? No, that procedural. So, you can only drag up. Yeah. So. Take that off, position them, yep, no, no, on the top of the cockpit, and then you drag them up. Yeah, but the problem is... Uh, quite wide there. Have you ever used these before? Yes, I have. I can't get them around the probe core because the probe core's not attached. Um, no, so, no, you can do it, watch. Well, what we need to do, get rid of that. Then we'll get the probe core as the main body. Ah, I see, yes. Right, now I'll be able to stick those underneath. Cool. Did we say aerodynamic? We did. So pop that underneath. Drag it up. Why is it not letting me? Yeah. Out. Up. And around. 
Nice. Um, yep, and then you want to pull that down. And then hold that up. Pop. Oh, oops, my bad. Ah, that looks the part. It does indeed. And there we go. Nice. So, got the fuel. Now, we'll, the we'll, we'll leave the fairings up at the top. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just manually jettison that when the time is right eh? Yeah, when we need to, but, I mean, there's no real need to, is there? Yeah, I mean, it could stay on there for the whole, whole yeah. shebang. Although then we won't get to show off the, the funky animation when it pops off. This is true. Well, we'll do that when we set the parachutes off. Okay. Ping them off. I think we're ready to go. Let's just make sure we haven't messed the staging up, which we have, because we don't want them to shoot off there. Yeah. So we want the solids to fire at the same time the girders release. Then that's correct. Yep. Then that then stage that's is that. correct. Yep. Then, then you've got the final re-entry stage. And then we want those. And we want the two layers of parachutes to run separately. So we've got that extra little safety net. Yeah, that sounds nice. So really what we're going to try to do here is a proper efficient gravity turn using those new bits underneath. So we'll call this the two-man rescue. Nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that looks quite nice. Even just the addition of the fairing at the top makes it feel more rocket-like. The fact that it ends in a point always feels quite good. So all we really need to do here to see if this ship works is get as high as we need to to jettison the solid fuel boosters, and yep. then this test will be complete. That's we only it. have one pilot, so there's no argument about who gets to fly this test mission. It's Merg. But we've got the probe core, so we don't need to worry about that really, do we? Oh, that's a good point. What we will need to worry about then... SAS. SAS. And we've only got the... Oh, we've got the advanced inline stabiliser. Which we can fit in between the pods. Fan dabby dozy. Well, actually, we want that as far down as possible in terms of the centre of gravity, or the centre of mass. So we'll pop it there. Because we'll only be getting rid of that once we're coming back in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And there's definitely nobody in it. While we're here, let's briefly see if there's any sort of contract. All right. I mean, there may be something for just test something at launch or test something in flight that we yeah, might be able to take. Yeah, it's, it's always worth doing. We do Temperature need the cash. scan, science data, flag on Minmus. There's nothing there really for us without dragging this video on longer than a short. Yeah. So we'll just take off. When we call this a short, it probably means it'll end up the same length as a normal person's video. <laughs> Short for us. Okay, let's see if this craft does the biz. Yep, get it, it up there. Either way. Whew. So we do have SAS that we can turn on. And there's the takeoff. It's a little bit heavier than it was before, so it's slightly slower to get off. Actually, no, it should be a little bit lighter. I think it will be, with the minus uh, taking all that science gear. So we can start the turn. Now, the SAS is doing quite a good job at holding this steady. It is quite nice to control. Yeah. It's a little higher than it should be, really. Still sitting all right. I was concerned we might have overheating problems. And there's a little bit of wobble in the top, so we'll get some uh, some structural things on there. Yeah, we'll manage that. How's the batteries doing? Yep, the electric charge is steady. That's as it bad. should be. Yep. At the moment, the truth is coming up. I'm quite peckish, Gonzo. Are you really? Yes. There'll be jack shit in the house. That wasn't a hint. I was just saying in general. Oh. I'll be going home after we've done a, uh, well this and maybe one other video. Moment of truth. Oh, that was risky, but I think that's manageable, you know. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, it'll be sods low. We'll try this for reals, and it'll all go tits up. But, we do know it works. So... I want to do is add a stage. I'm wondering if we can bring this down so that we haven't wasted any money. All right. Because if that works, we've only wasted the solid fuel boosters. Yeah. My thought is that it's probably going to tear this entire thing apart. Yeah, it'll be far too heavy for that. But let's give it a go. All right, flip that round. I mean, that can't be good, can it? That it can't be good. There. Look at it bending at the top there. <laughs> the weight of it pulling it down. Yeah, that's uh it's got such a bend on it. If it wasn't wiggling around so much, I could try and use the, the boosters to slow it down a bit. One yeah, than a donkey's cock. See if I can just get some control using the boosters. I like bringing speed down fairly nice. 
We don't want to be going too fast when those parachutes hit, otherwise the chances of it falling to bits are pretty high. Ah, uh, well, I think even when it tips to its side, it's still probably going to destroy the top end. Because it's looking like it might bottom. snap off already. Yeah. The way right, I'd best throw that off. Moment of truth. Yeah, there they go. Oh. Ah, but it's... It, <laughs> <laughs> that was very strange, wasn't it? It wanted it to, but... Yeah. Yeah, most of it's fallen a bit. How much did that rocket cost? Um, 40 odd grand, I think, usually. Yeah. That oh, well. 40 Had grand well spent. Had to test. Oh, we've only lost about 30. Well, there we go. I think we've got a decent rocket for the rescue. I'm happy to put them in there. Yeah, yeah. I think we should, uh, we should do it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for watching this little test. Awesome. We'll see you in the we'll next see one. see you for the main event. Bye.